Yo, how is everybody doing today? My name is Connor, but you guys can call me Superior. And today, this gameplay I got is really, really awesome. It is in a Kembro, and if you guys have never heard of an a Kembro, I haven't seen one on YouTube anywhere. Um, it is where two people in a game get an a chem, or get a, a chem strike, and I get one, and my buddy expert, who I play with 99% of the time, got one. And uh, it actually took us a long time to get this gameplay. Um, it took us a few games, um, so I don't know about a few hours actually, and um, you know we ended up getting it. And uh, it was definitely hard because there'd be some games where he'd get a chem and I wouldn't, or some games where I'd get a chem and he wouldn't. Um, basically traded that off, and we were finally able to get one on Octane. Now Octane is definitely one of my most chemed maps, just because the way I'm, I know how to work and I know, um, you know, if I'm standing here, I know what's where they'll spawn, or I know how to block a spawn and make them spawn by my teammates, and um, all stuff like that. Just basically, me and Expert working together can just control the spawns perfectly and be able to just, you know, walk in on them and just get six kills easily you know um it's just one of those maps that we've mastered and know how to play down down to the you know perfectly flawlessly and uh the gun that i'm using is the honey badger now the honey badger is one of my favorite guns in call of duty ghost just because it has that built-in silencer now i know it doesn't have the best damage in the world i normally find myself taking five to six shots to kill a person but um you know it's definitely nice being able to have three attachments just because i always debate whether to have grip or extended mags on a gun and I definitely find myself putting on extended mags more often than not. But on this gun, I can have both. And this gun, they are both definitely necessary. Because it has such a low damage and takes five to six bullets to kill one person, when you run into more than one people, like two or three people at a time, which it seems like more often than not that's what happens, you definitely need those extra bullets to be able to stay alive and get both the kills. Because in this game, when you die so fast and your gun doesn't kill that fast, you definitely need more bullets in your clip. And another thing with the grip is... This gun is not a low recoil weapon. If you expect to win a gunfight at long range, you are going to need that grip. And, you know, so that's why I put that on. And it's really nice to have pretty much the three attachments because staying off the radar is huge in this game. Uh, I use off the grid on almost all of my classes and the specialist bonus just because whenever you're on a big streak and, you know, the other team's getting their support satcoms, you definitely do not want to be on the radar. And, um, you know, it's, it's a struggle to try and get a chem in this game just because there's so much bullshit that can kill you, whether it be that MK32, whatever that is, this gun that shoots fucking Semtex, or um, IEDs, or just stuff like that. So, you basically, you need to be ready, man. You need to have that class set up to be prepared to take down the enemy team. Now, if you guys haven't already noticed, the camo that I'm using is pretty rare. It is the ice camo, and the only way you can get the ice camo is paying $54 and buying the season pass. And now, the season pass, what you get with the season pass is you get like a background for your player card in the patch, but who really cares about those, let's be honest. And um, you also get a new mask, you get the ghost mask um, for your character in the game, and you also get the ice camo. Now, the ice camo is by far my favorite, um, just because, look how cool it looks, you know, I think that is cooler than any camo you can unlock for your gun from getting like crouch kills or just the random shit like that. Or, yeah, you know, it's just, it's a really cool camo. Um, I highly recommend you guys get the season pass just because you'll get the four DLC they plan on coming out with um, for free. And, um, you know, there's just a lot of great perks behind the season pass. And one of them is this awesome camo. Um, so, if that's, it's the ice camo, if many of you are wondering. And the only way you can get it is from buying the season pass. Now, there is one other camo that is extremely rare and most of you probably have never seen before. I know I just heard about it a few days ago. And that is the Spectrum camo. If you guys haven't seen the Spectrum camo, it is like a rainbow tiger. Or not a rainbow tiger, like a rainbow zebra camo. And it is so sick. And the only way you can get that, there's three different ways you can get that. And um, one is from being an employee at GameStop. Another is being an employee at Best Buy. And the last one is pre-ordering the game off of the Microsoft Store. And I honestly didn't even know Microsoft had a store that you could pre-order games. So really no one did that. And... Um, it's a really cool camo. Um, sadly, I can't show it to you guys because I don't have it. I only know two people that actually have it. And um, one of them works at GameStop and one of them, like, hacks to get it or some weird thing like that. But, um, you know, there are some great camos in this game. And hopefully the Spectrum camo, you'll be able to buy it later on in the game. I know they have some, some camos that they plan on coming out with that you can buy for, like, $2 in the near future. But um, that's about it for the class setup. I know I rambled on about that for quite a long time. But I wanted to talk about my goals for 2014. Now, with that being said, I know everyone and their mother has made a video about this, but I have a little different approach to it. Now, pretty much everyone, or not everyone, but you guys know the stereotypical New Year's resolution. I'm going to go to the gym this year every single day. Now, that is an extremely difficult goal, and if you can do it, you know, I, I applaud you because that is extremely hard to do. 
Um, I, I would never do it just because I don't have the motivation or anything like that to go to the gym every single day. Um, so I'm going to set for myself a reasonable goal that I believe I can achieve. And what that's going to be is I'm going to try and upload a video um, every single day. And the reason I think I can do this is because I have the motivation, okay? I am I love playing Call of Duty even though this game sometimes pushes me to my limits. And I love sitting down and recording a commentary and ending it all together and uploading it. That entire process is just a blast to me. And um, I would have no problem doing it every day. The only problem I would run into, I know it's kind of hypocritical because of what I just said, but the only problem I could run into is that this Call of Duty will get stale for me. So if there are any other games you guys want to see me upload, like Battlefield or Titanfall when it comes out, that's going to be a lot of fun to upload. Or GTA 5 or any like new game that seems to do okay on YouTube, just let me know down in the comments and I will, you know, I'll definitely get around to uploading it. Now, another goal I set for myself. Now, I don't, I truly believe in setting New Year's resolutions. However, I believe in setting reasonable New Year's resolutions. For example, one of my old friends on YouTube, he's a really great content creator. He does great. Um, he's at like 1.2 or 1.3K subs right now. And his goal for 2014 was to hit 50,000 subscribers. What I don't, you know, that's, that is achievable. Like, I'm not going to say it's impossible and that he can't do it. But it is an extremely hard goal. He's going to have to work his ass off. Uh, do I think he can do it? Probably or probably not, but he definitely has the drive and the motivation to do that. But um, I'm not going to set myself a ridiculous goal like that. My goal for 2014 for subscriber count is 1,500 subscribers, 1,500 subscribers. And if in one year I gained 600, over 600 actually, I think I can achieve 1,500. And um, the only way I can do that is with your guys' help. So leave a like, share the video, or whatever you guys think you can do to help get this channel out there. It would really mean the world to me. Um, subscribe if you're new. That's about it for this video, guys. I hope that all the New Year's resolutions that you guys said you guys can achieve and will achieve. But, um, you know, that's about it for this video, guys. I've been Superior, and have a great day, guys. Peace out. Come and get it.